there are, let's say, two major camps. In one of them, we have those historians considering that magic and science are two completely different disciplines and there was a break between the two. We have two different worldviews. So there is nothing in magic that could be useful today. In the other camp, we have those who consider that there is a continuity between magic and science. And we can only understand the roots of modern science if we start understanding the magical theories and practices. And then my question was, where can we place Ioan Petru Culianu in this story? And I decided that, in fact, we should create a third, a third um, category for him. And I was saying that um, together with the first group, Culianu sees the Renaissance worldview in opposition with the modern one. So he does keep the, the idea of worldviews. But together with the latter group, he considers that the study of magic is, va is a valuable approach since for him, any worldview has the same value. So it's a kind of challenge to the historian of science today to try to get into the mental world of those people who are talking about emblems and are manipulating images. And it's an interesting thing to do, try to recover some of it. Well, I think Uliano would disagree with you that this dimension has been lost. And actually in the introduction, he says, the magician of the Renaissance is both psychoanalyst and prophet, as well as the precursor of modern professions, such as director of public relations, propagandist, spy, politician, censor, director of mass communication media and publicity agent. Oh, okay, so we just call it differently, but we are still trying to manipulate the imaginary of people, knowing what strikes the imagination most.